Hello, welcome to episode 100 of the Data Pack Tutorial Series, version 1.21. We're going to be detecting individual key presses. Now, we've used this in a couple of data packs. What do I mean? Well, I'm checking for shift. If I press shift, it says clicked. If I press and hold shift, it says clicked one time. But this is not a cooldown. If I want, I can spam it. Okay, so that is what we're doing. That's my back, that's my front. So you click and it'll register once, but when you let go and click again, it'll register again. So we don't have a cooldown, like it's not running every second or anything like that. It's just detecting each individual key press. Right, let's go, let's get straight on with it. Let's go straight over to uh, VS Code and add some folders and files. Um, well, I'm going to use a predicate, Just and this isn't part of it. This is just to check if I'm sneaking, because that's the input I'm going to use. So let's do a new folder, and do predicate. And we'll have a new file, which we'll call is sneaking. Okay. And let's inside function. I'm not even going to create my own folder. I'm not going to be tidy. I'm just going to put a file straight in here and call it sneaker. That'll do mc function. Okay, that's all we need. Let's do the predicate, because that'll be nice and quick. Let's pop over to miso. Miso, we're in predicates, yeah. Okay, condition, entity properties. Entity will be this, predicate will be a flag. Flags will be, is sneaking true? Let's copy that, take it back, pop it into our predicate file, and save that. Okay. Load. I'm going to need a scoreboard. Scoreboard. Objectives. Add. And we'll call it timestamp. And this is where we're going to be storing the game time. Now the game time is the age of the world in game ticks. Well, that's what we're going to be getting and putting in there. Let's go off to tick. And this is going to be quite a nice simple one. We're just going to execute as all players whose predicate equals the predicate I just made is sneak in run function sneaker okay and in sneaker right first thing we're going to do we're going to save that timestamp to a fake player or we're going to save the game time to a fake player's timestamp so let's execute as oops sorry execute store a result as a score and we'll have a fake player and we'll just call them this that'll do this and onto their timestamp we will run query run time query the game time okay so let's say the world's been running for, let's pick an unrealistic number, but one that's easy to deal with. Let's say the world's been running for 10 game ticks. We'll put a 10 into this timestamp. And what we'll do is we'll say scoreboard, players, add, add S, that's the sneaking person, to their timestamp one. Okay, now, I've just started sneaking. I don't have a timestamp. So my timestamp now equals one. And we will do execute unless at s, oh, unless score, unless score at s timestamp equals this timestamp. And we'll do it. We're just going to do a really simple command. We'll just say run say hello. Okay, so we're coming through the first time. Game time is 10 ticks. So this equals 10. I've never been here before, so my time stamp goes to 1. Does 1 equal 10? No. In that case, say hello. And then we'll come down and we'll do an operation. We'll do scoreboard players operation at s timestamp equals this timestamp. So now, in our example, my timestamp equals 10 and this timestamp equals 10. Cool. Now, the current tick ends 
The gain tick goes up by one, and I am still holding shift. So now, game time is 11. This timestamp equals 11. I add one to my timestamp, and remember we set it to the same, so 11 for this, 11 for me. Do they match? They do match. Oh, okay. Then we're not going to do anything. They do match, so we're not running the command. And we go down again, and we set my timestamp to 11, and we go round again. Game time ticks up by 1. Now it's on 12. Add 1 to mine, it becomes 12. They're the same. You get the point. That's going to keep going around. Now, let's say I let go of shift, or sneak. So we come down here, and we go off. Game time ticks up. Let's say game time's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Game time's 100, but mine is still on 12. So we come back in. I've pressed sneak again. Timestamp becomes 100. I add one to mine. Well, I stopped pressing sneak when mine was 12, so now mine's 13. Do they match? No, they don't. We say hello, and we set mine to the current gate time, and we're in the loop again. So that's how it's working. Now, after that explanation of how it works, let's test it. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to feel very stupid. Let's do reload, and we'll press shift, and I'm holding it, and it says hello one time. Cool. And if I do spam it, I get lots of hellos. Okay, it is working. That is how we make individual key press detection in Minecraft. Uh, we've used it a few times in a few videos. Um, Gal Sergi uses it, uh, so thank you to Gal Sergi for showing me. And um, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.